Hi guys, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Be since it's Halloween, we're going to do three true scary Halloween stories for a creepy October night. Well, it's not really night. I mean, maybe it is for you guys. But since it's Halloween, I was just thinking maybe I should do something scary. Alright, let's get started. It was 2018, and I was still in middle school at the time. Me and my friend group were really excited for Halloween, mostly because we knew this would probably be our last year trick-or-treating, since we were getting too old for it. Our school only had a half day, which was really nice, but we didn't meet up until 5. By then, the sun was starting to set, which got us all more in the mood to go running around and get as much candy as possible. There were three of us, all just wearing black clothes with random masks we'd found a couple days before. It was pretty low effort, but still enough to pass as trick-or-treaters. Anyway, we started by meeting at my house, then moved our way through the neighborhood. Our goal was to get to the other side of the neighborhood, where there were custom houses on a street where all the rich people lived. It was separated from the rest of the houses and quite the walk but we knew that they'd have to be handing out full-sized candy. We stopped by most of the houses on the way there, taking us almost two hours before we got to the big houses. By then, most of the- All right, let's just take a stop real quick. Guys, if you go trick-or-treating, do not walk past the big forest like this where you can't even see through it. Because, like, who knows? There could be, like, somebody hiding in there. Like, it's terrifying. Right. The other kids had gone home, and the sidewalks were mostly empty. It was late since we'd started a bit behind. Well, there you go. But it wasn't empty so sidewalks. That people would be going to bed or anything. As we walked up to each big house, though, we realized a mistake in our plan. All the houses were really far apart. It took probably five minutes of walking to each door, so we had to jog to every house just so we could get through them all in time. By the time we finished, the last few houses had all their lights off, and no more people were answering their doors. It was just past 9 p.m., so it was really dark out and really late. We all agreed it was time to go and head back to my house so we could watch some movies and eat some of the candy. But just as we began walking down the street, we saw a man walking toward us. It was way too dark. To oh, hell no, bro. But it was definitely an adult wearing a hood covering his face. And he was alone. It was just us and him on the road. We all felt a little weird that someone would be walking around like that on a holiday where kids were running around. So we moved over to the other side of the road. As we passed the man, he watched us from the other side. He tried to hide it, but it was pretty obvious he was looking right at us. This was really weird behavior, and none of us wanted to stick around, but we were all exhausted from having to run from house to house over the past couple hours, so we opted for just walking quickly and checking behind us to make sure we weren't being followed. After a few minutes, we felt like we'd put a good distance between us, but out of nowhere, my friend in front stopped abruptly, causing me to bump into him and stumble back. <coughs> I jokingly called him a few choice words, but when I looked up, I immediately went quiet. There was a hooded man standing at the side of one of the houses ahead, hiding between the trees in the woods just outside of the reach of the streetlights. All we could see was his figure, but from the looks of it, it had to be the same man we'd just seen. He was just standing there, as if he was waiting for us to get closer. We were all whispering to each other as we stood in the road and tried to decide what to do, but there wasn't much to decide on. There was only one way out, which was the way we were heading, so we kept walking, keeping our eyes on the man. As we got closer and closer, just about to pass him, he started quickly walking out of the woods and toward us. All of us started running, making a break for the trees on the other side of the road. We stayed together, running into the woods in the direction that we hoped would lead to the other neighborhood. But the further in we got, the darker and more difficult to navigate it became. 
especially while running at full speed. After a minute or so, we realized the man had either lost us or stopped following. We took a moment to collect ourselves, leaning up against a tree. Only a minute passed before we heard footsteps in the leaves somewhere out in the woods nearby. We silenced our breathing as best we could and listened as they slowly moved through the dark, eventually fading out. We waited a bit to make sure it was safe, then hurried out of the woods and made it back to my house. None of us had the nerve to call the cops, but we didn't see any other kids outside on our way back, so hopefully they'd already gotten home. We don't know what that man was trying to do, but chasing us into the woods and continuing to try to find us only makes it more terrifying. We stopped going out for Halloween after that, but I still get chills thinking about that night. Alright, so guys, after I go trick-or-treating, um, I might make a part two for story two. And maybe story three. Alright. And the like goal for this video today is three or two likes at least. And remember to like and subscribe. Bye guys.